so bad? Uh -huh. yeah. It's more tingly than hot. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Excuse me, I gotta use the phone. Uh, enjoy your meal, guys. This helps. That was good. It's fair to say that the world outside of these United States sees us somewhat different than we see ourselves. Let's be real honest here and say that some of what we do and some of how we are portrayed in modern entertainment leaves the rest of the globe to consider us somewhat addled, different, unique, interesting, fascinating, and certainly as dumb as suppository products and likely as effective. We, of course, certainly know the reality of the situation, for no matter what happens here in America, we know that we continue to be the shining, guiding light of intellect, fair play, and common sense. Begin with that shining example of our education system. Toss aside those ridiculous polls showing how far behind we are in this arena. Understand the reality of the care, concern, and professionalism some of our educators bring to their jobs. I'm sorry this has gotten all blown out of proportion because just part of the video is being seen and not the whole. Nancy Gorduk and her school are in the spotlight for all the wrong reasons. Captured by a spectator in the crowd of this graduation, the video shows the principal's reaction to what she's calling rude disruptions during the ceremony. She says she was frustrated because people were not paying attention and were about to miss a speech from the student with the highest grades. One first thing to all black people. But she says the video takes her remarks out of context. She says moments before she said what she did, a man was causing a disruption in the audience and it made her very agitated to the point where she was not herself. I told my husband it didn't even sound like me or feel like me even saying it. I'd like them to know that I apologize to everyone in attendance there. I'm sorry for what I said. Like I said, the devil was in the house. Mm, the devil. Take then our legal system, one where caring, understanding professionals seek to deliver real, passionate experience to those who, without such knowledge, might suffer at the hands of the ill-reputed. Absolutely proper and commendable that less than 24 hours after the Amtrak crash and the knowledge that there were seven people dead at the time, my Philly lawyer sent out a press release to the local media stating their organization was ready to, quote, provide representation for victims and injured persons in the Amtrak derailment. Too soon, you say? Why, just good old-fashioned American ambulance chasing care for their neighbors. However, these are mere trifles when one considers the American system of government, the manner in which our elected officials bring to the fore their experience, their grit, their determination, and most important, their character and their unconditional honesty. I responded right away and provided all my emails that could possibly be work-related. Hey, want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? It would have been better for me to use two separate phones and two email accounts. I thought using one device would be simpler, and obviously it hasn't worked out that way. I can't lie! What difference at this point does it make? Now go away or I shall taunt you a second time. Honesty. Integrity, the hallmark of American politics. The things that we look for, the things that the world watches us for, the things that the world knows that we are really good at. That's my proud opinion, telling it like it is. By the way, want to tell us what you think about the proud opinions and the proud American politics? The reasons why we need to stand behind these politicians who give us their honesty, their integrity, every single day. All you need to do is send us something on social media. We will respond. Rock on, true believers. Join us again tomorrow when we bring you the fastest 60 minutes in news. Integrity lives on the hard line.